just got done with my training. I'm completely swamped for the day. We pretty much sat in a room all day and listened to what other people had to say for eight hours. Uh, it was a pretty damn long day. But I have a couple topics in the vlog that I'd like to talk about. First one would be that I'm probably getting myself a bowling ball. And that's pretty cool. I went to Ocean Lanes yesterday and talked to the guy at the pro shop. So he's helping me out with picking up a you know, bowling ball. Um, at Ocean Lanes, if you guys don't know, if you buy a bowling ball, you buy shoes and you buy a bag, you get 10% off of everything. So that was a pretty nice deciding factor for the purchase. I priced it on Amazon. Amazon pretty much gets like $4 cheaper. So figured why not just go with the pro shop. Um, in case you guys are wondering, my head is insanely cold. It's definitely a lot colder than usual. My face is super cold also. Um, you'd think that after two days you'd be used to it, but I'm not. It's really cold. Um, I'm just completely drained today, man, from all the stuff that we were doing. It's just like, when you have to sit in a room for eight hours and just listen to somebody talk, it gets tough. You don't think it would be that bad, but it was it was actually pretty darn bad. Hopefully tomorrow won't go that way. There's a lot of different things that are gonna be going on with my training that I'm going through, so that's okay. Hopefully it's not like this the whole time that I'm training, but if it is, I mean, there's really nothing I can do anyway, so. Just gotta sit there and suck it up. Uh, another thing with my training, I can't wear my G-Shock that I normally wear, which completely sucks. Without the watch on, I feel completely naked and I don't like not wearing it. First thing I did when we put our names on a piece of paper is look at my watch to see what the date was, and of course I didn't have it on, so that kind of sucked. I also can't wear my necklace. Um, for any of you that care, I don't really believe and disbelieve or anything like that as far as God goes, but that necklace came from Greece, from my grandma, uh, who's no longer around. So I like to keep that necklace on me at all times and I like to keep, you know, the um, sentimental value for that necklace is great. It's gold, I've had it for like 10 years and I wear it every single day. So I always try to keep it on me, I always try to keep, you know, things that I'm used to on me, on me. Like my wallet, my cell phone, none of those I need for the next two weeks so it kind of sucks not having them because it's just the the fact that, that I'm not used to not having them. Um, I cleaned my car and I did all these things and none of them even came to play today. So hopefully tomorrow that will change. Don't mind my messy bed. Um, I didn't make it so I don't care. But yeah, none of those came into play today, so I really did all that. This weekend kind of rushed around for absolutely nothing. In this video, if you can hear the camera focusing, my apologies. I don't know if you can or cannot, being that I'm pretty much talking the whole time. But if you can, my apologies. It's the Canon G7X. It's a pretty common issue with this camera. But I don't really notice it unless I'm sitting here in a quiet room talking to you guys one-on-one. -on -one. And that's the only time that's really an issue. I still have the wind muff on the camera, although I think I might be getting rid of it soon just because a lot of the filming I'm doing is actually inside, so I don't really notice the difference with the wind muff on when I'm actually indoors. But we'll see how that goes. A um, couple shameless plugs that I want to throw out there for you guys is uh, my buddy Carl runs a YouTube channel called Rings King. Definitely give him a, a follow, subscribe, check out his videos, see what you think of them. And then my other buddy Saber runs the channel SaberTube and he just did a Halloween one about clowns and how to get ready for them. 
and that video had to be like one of the funnier videos that he's putting out so definitely give those two guys a, a quick follow um, on Instagram if you guys follow me on Instagram find yo what up Ant and that's Anthony tell him to do two things one start filming with his G7X and two get a profile picture for his Instagram and start posting pictures I know he never does but oh look he just messaged me now there you guys can see it bam so I don't know what he's messaging me let's just take a look shout out to it a Mazda 3 guys if you're going over to Ant's channel definitely make sure that you let him know that a Mazda 3 is a, is a girl's car and that it's not even sweet and it's a 2007 Mazda 3 with 132,000 miles so go over to his channel or go over to his Instagram let him know that that's a that's a weak car and that he should probably not go through it I think I'm gonna go to Taco Bell or somewhere to get some food in me maybe that'll help me get some energy um, today was about 45 degrees outside and we were outside for a good portion of the day so I don't know if I'm just like completely soaked in my energy or what but I think I'm gonna go either to Taco Bell or Jersey Mike's or something and just get myself a sub I don't know if you guys are bored by this vlog sorry you know I really have no energy to go out there and do something crazy but you know tomorrow and Thursday Thursday's when I'm probably getting the bowling ball so be sure to check out the video on Friday as I make the vlog the day of and then I edit or then I update them the next day at 8 a.m. is normally the day beforehand so definitely check out Friday's vlog because that's gonna be my new bowling ball vlog and then the weekend I'll probably be bowling or doing something like that so sorry if you guys didn't like this kind of vlog but I think I think I talked to you guys a good amount. I don't. I keep saying you guys. I gotta get. I gotta stop calling you guys. I gotta stop calling. You know. Yo. What up. What up. Blah blah blah. YouTube. Until next time.